After starting out the day with a little bit of rain and some cloud cover, the sunshine returned to the area this afternoon. Uh, it looks like for the most part we're going to be seeing quiet weather tonight. We do have another system that's going to impact southern and parts of central Minnesota. So rain is likely tomorrow in the central part of, of the state within our viewing area. But other than that, it looks like a pretty nice end to the work with comfortable temperatures. Looks like sunshine on Friday, and then another chance of some showers does arrive to start the weekend. More on the forecast in a second. First, our current conditions. In Brainerd, we have clear skies. It is 44 degrees. Our dew point is at 30, 57% humidity with calm winds. Mostly cloudy in Bemidji. It is 41 degrees. The dew point is at 28. Pressure is rising, and we have a light north wind. The temps around Minnesota this evening in the 40s by and large for our viewing area we still have some colder temperatures in parts of northeastern Minnesota and some temperatures falling into the mid and even some lower 30s but for us we're looking at 41 in Grand Rapids and in Little Falls Park Rapids a bit warmer at 44 and Foster and Rosa both reporting 41 as well checking in with the Eagle Eyes tonight Dewey and Park Rapids seeing mostly cloudy skies today 51 was our high the low temperature is what we're seeing this evening at 37 Josh and Fort Ripley again that cloud cover early on today but that sunshine returning for the afternoon 31 was the low this morning we had a high today of 56. So as we look at that almanac, Brainer today topping out at 50 degrees, a little shy of that average high temperature. Normally, the, uh, we would expect to see the temperatures around 56. 43 for the low, sunrise 623. Bemidji today, also a little cool, 46 was our high. That is nearly 10 degrees below that average high temperature for today. 36 the low and 814 the sunset. Highs around the rest of the state. Generally speaking, we were in the 50s, again, a little bit colder. We still have a little bit of snow in parts of northeastern Minnesota. Ely today only topping out at 39, 47 in Grand Rapids, 53 in Faustin, 52 today in Little Falls. So as we look at the radar picture, any precipitation did exit the state this afternoon, and it's been fairly quiet throughout the evening hours. It looks like for most of, it, most of us it's going to be quiet overnight, but this next system is going to begin to push into parts of southwestern Minnesota, and there is a small chance that we could see some of that rainfall in parts of central Minnesota within our viewing area tonight. Now that rain does become likely tomorrow, but for northern Minnesota it looks like a pretty quiet day. Could be seeing a little bit more cloud cover, partly to mostly cloudy skies, and temperatures again a little on the cool side with highs in the upper 40s to low 50s across the north, some of the warmer temperatures in northern Minnesota. Central Minnesota, that's where we do have that chance for some rain, likely for most of central Minnesota's isolated uh, rain shower activity around Brainerd and Aiken. But again, temperatures a little cooler with that cloud cover and with the rain highs in central Minnesota should be in the mid to upper 40s. Looking at our forecast for tomorrow, partly to mostly cloudy skies, we do have that chance of rain showers in central Minnesota later on tonight. 33 for the low and tomorrow. Again, it's going to be partly to mostly cloudy, more sunshine to the north, cloud cover to the south. Rain showers are likely in central Minnesota with highs near 50. Heading into the weekend forecast, actually a pretty nice uh, end to the work week. Friday should be partly to mostly sunny with temperatures topping out near 52. We do have a chance of rain on Saturday and then just a slight chance in parts of eastern Minnesota on Sunday. But warmer air does arrive early next week. Highs on Sunday near 59. Isolated rain showers in the northwest, but otherwise dry weather on Monday. And again, highs very nice near 62. Back to our warmer spring that we had there for a little bit. Back to a little bit above average, yeah. Mm -hmm. Early next week looks like was when the warmer air arrives. But again, just really pleasant temperatures and really pleasant conditions late this week. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks Stacy. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.